Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we will discuss some basic built-in functions, uh, mathematical built-in functions in MATLAB, and also some built-in constants in MATLAB. So let's start with the uh, built-in functions. So MATLAB built-in uh, functions. So math functions. Uh, we will discuss the key important ones. For example, the exponential function, uh, the way we write it in MATLAB is exp of x. So suppose, for example, you have x equal 1, and you were asked to calculate the exponential of 1. So that will be exp of 1, and the answer is 2.7183. Um, other important function is the square root, and the square root is uh, sqrt uh, of x. So, for example, I can also, let's actually make x equal 5, and I ask MATLAB to calculate sqrt of 5, and that will give me uh, 2.2361. In fact, we could have also calculated the square root uh, using exponentiation, the exponentiation in arithmetic, so it's square root of um, uh, 1 over 2, but we really have to be careful here. So remember from the arithmetic part is that exponentiation has higher priority. So if we leave it in this way, it will be x raised to power 1 and then divided by 2. So that's not raised to power half. So to make it raised to power half, we really have to put bracket here. And if we do this, we will get exactly the same answer. We have to comment that the SQRT function is supposed to be faster in MATLAB in comparison to exponentiation using uh, 1 over 2, the power 1 over 2. Uh, other useful built-in functions, uh, the len x, and in MATLAB, this is uh, log x. Okay, So for example, I can type log of x here, and that would give me 1.6095. Um, another useful function is log base 10 of x, and in MATLAB, this is written as log 10x. So again, let's do this. In fact, let's clear the screen here. Let me type log base 10 of 10. And that answer should be 1, of course, as expected. Um, trigonometric functions are also uh, can be computed in MATLAB. So obviously, you have cosine x, uh, sine x. Uh, and 10 and everything and and these the way they are written is uh, in MATLAB is cosine of x sine of x and so on uh, let's uh, let's actually highlight something here uh, MATLAB has also a built-in constant which is pi we will comment on the built-in on the built-in constants now so pi uh, is the standard pi right uh, uh, is the famous uh, rational number of course, as you see it here, uh, it appears only up to four decimal digits after uh, the decimal points, after four digits after the decimal point. And if one really wants to see how much uh, digits are stored actually in the memory, uh, one can type format long and then can type pi again. And that gives the value of pi in the uh, built-in pi value uh, in MATLAB. Now, I have to comment something on the cosine and sine I all, and all the trigonometric functions. In fact, x here uh, is assumed to be in radians. So what that means, uh, you shouldn't expect, for example, that sine 90, um, uh, sine 90 is 1, because now 90 is in radians, is assumed to be radians. Instead, what you can assume is that sine pi over 2 uh, that should give you one. Uh, sine pi over 2, that should give you one. All right. So uh, this is how we use uh, the trigonometric function. But suppose someone is interested to have a version that deals uh, with uh, angles and degrees. So there is the cosine d of x. Oh, sorry, we should have actually wrote this on the other side here. Uh, there is the cosine d of x. Uh, there is also the sine d of x, where the d here just means uh, degrees. And in that case, if I go back to the command window of MATLAB and I can type sine d of 90, I will get the expected um, 
1. I will mention a little curiosity here, which I will comment on it in a later, uh, a later part of this course. Uh, if you try actually to calculate sine pi uh, from mathematics, sine pi is supposed to be zero. But if you really try to ask MATLAB to calculate it, it gives you a number that's very, very small. In fact, it's this 1.2 to do something times 10 raised to power negative 16. So that's really a very small number. Uh, in a sense, MATLAB, is, and this is not, not, not a problem in MATLAB itself, this is a problem uh, in the fact that we are using computers, um, that we are incapable of representing numbers exactly. There is what is known as round of error. And we will be discussing this at length uh, at a later part of this course. But let's continue our discussion of uh, the most important mathematical functions uh, in MATLAB. Uh, there is also one very useful function is the absolute of x. And the way you write this is in MATLAB is abs uh, of x. So suppose, for example, let's actually clear here. Uh, suppose x equal negative uh, 9.1 and we were asked to calculate the absolute value of x. Uh, so obviously it should be uh, the positive 9.1. And of course, there are many, many other functions, mathematical functions available in MATLAB. MATLAB is really rich and a Google search uh, uh, or, you know, um, chat GBT search or something like that can help you pinpointing several, several available functions uh, in MATLAB, built-in functions in MATLAB. But what we discussed here are the most important ones. Uh, in addition to built-in functions, there are key built-in constants, uh, which you do not need to define. So in fact, let's write this here. Um, there is the so-called built-in constants. So they are available for you. You can already use them uh, without any problem. Um, th the first one is pi, which we just introduced, right? So pi uh, is the first one of them. Uh, the second one is the imaginary, imaginary number, which is the square root of negative 1. And in MATLAB, this is, so this is written as pi, uh, and, and the p is small here. In MATLAB, this is written as j or i. And it really has, you know, to come with uh, j or i, both of them are fine. They really have to uh, come without a multiplication sign with the number next to them. So to, just to clarify, Suppose I want to write uh, the complex number 3 uh, plus 2i. That's how we write it. We don't, we don't put a multiplication sign here. If we put a multiplication sign, it will be understood as arithmetic. It's like you are trying to multiply 2 times certain variable, which is i. But if you remove the multiplication sign, now this is considered as a complex number. In fact, let's hit enter. This is a complex number, and it's 3 plus 2i. Let me bring back uh, format short uh, to go back to the short format again. Easier for the i. So 3 plus 2i. I could have also done uh, 3 plus 2j, uh, and that will give me the same thing. Um, the j symbol is widely more used in electrical engineering. Another built-in... Um, don't know if it's really correct mathematically to call this a constant, but infinity. And in MATLAB, infinity is i and f. And one way to see infinity coming out of MATLAB, again, let's clear the screen here. Uh, one way to see infinity coming out of MATLAB is when you divide a number that's non-zero by zero. So, for example, 7 divided by zero, uh, then MATLAB will give me i and f. So infinity appears sometimes in calculations, and usually they indicate um, either an error in your calculation, you somehow mistakenly divided by zero, or maybe some algorithm did not converge correctly. So their appearance usually in computation usually signifies some issue that needs to be taken care of. All right, so it's good actually to, to be acquainted at this early stage with the presence of such uh, a constant. Uh, and last building 
constant and again i'm not really sure if calling it constant is the right way at least from a math point of view is the zero divided by zero so whenever you divide zero by zero in mathematics usually this is called an indeterminate form and in the context of calculus you might actually be able to find the value for it um, the classical way to do this, uh, during the, like, uh, the classical context in differentiation, and then one appeals to L'Hopital theorem uh, to try to calculate the value uh, of a certain limit using differentiation. So in MATLAB, zero over zero uh, has a name. Uh, it's usually written in this way, NAN, uh, and that's basically an acronym for not, not a number not a number so let's type this here suppose i calculate zero over zero it will give me not a number and again uh it's good to be acquainted with the possibility of seeing this on the screen or in your calculations and usually again it's it, it gives you a hint that there is some sort of a mistake in your calculation or possibly certain algorithm didn't converge or didn't work nicely and you probably need to change it so let's recap again what we covered in this video. Um, we go back to the previous page. So we started with built-in mathematical functions. The most important ones are exponential, square root, natural logarithm, logarithm base 10, trigonometric functions. You can actually have a version of them that works with, uh, the standard ones work with uh, radians, uh, just like in mathematics, but you can have a special version that works with angles and degrees. Uh, another useful function is the absolute function. And finally, we discussed uh, four uh, built-in constants in MATLAB, which uh, uh, are, you know, the first two of them are kind of useful in calculations. And the last two of them, one has to watch out whenever uh, you see them in your calculation. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.